Hello, I'm Adia Travians. It's Gameheart, and welcome back to True. The patch is here. I was so afraid, but now it's here. <laughs> and it has brought us many changes. I will start with the changes I waited for the most. And these are the inventory changes. Oh dear god. <laughs> I waited for them because I loved them. I already loved them because I tried them on PTS. So, yep, let's open the inventory. So, the new inventory. Can you see this? It's empty now. <laughs> I know, it's empty. So, let's go to simple inventory and press the right click on Flux. Up, up, and it's gone. <laughs> no, it's not gone. So, it's now in the new inventory. And let's place all the items we can place them. And look at this. Our inventory is more and more and more empty. Isn't it awesome? It truly really is. Only a few things that are usable like lure, bombs and stuff are not placeable in the new inventory. So and here you can see the stuff. So here is it. Isn't it awesome? I believe the most awesome part. Because there's no much need anymore for flux tanks and stuff. Because all my flux is mostly in flux tanks. <laughs> And now it doesn't take place anymore. Look at this. So, and also new stuff you're getting is placed already in the new inventory. So don't worry, it doesn't disappear. <laughs> I have already seen people screaming that stuff disappears. No, it doesn't. It goes to the new inventory. Also, this inventory has three sections. So the crafting one for flux crafting gardening stuff. And the dragon coin and shadow tower one. Yep, now you can see how many Shadow Shards and Titan Souls I have <laughs> and Lunar Souls. I have a plan for a huge Empowered Gem Box opening again. <laughs> I don't know, will it be 50 or even 100? So, and the third one for the Gem Seas. For the Dust, for the Boosters. So, yep, see, that's the new inventory. So, and if you need to get something out from the new inventory, just go somewhere to a trading post or a chest or, or to the marketplace. Simply open the inventory and just take it out, so many as you need, like one glim. <laughs> so yep, you can simply use it, simply operate with it. So if the stuff is still tradable, it's still tradable. So and now it's time to speak about not so tradable stuff. Which came with this, with the Chaos Crafter in our game. Let's see it with this. So and from now you can craft glasses, yay! <laughs> There are starter classes and advanced classes. And for crafting you need Chao scores, which you can get from Chao's chests, the untradeable or the old tradable version. Or from looting mounts, which you got from the Chao's chests. So and of course some fluxies, some stuff like cupcakes, shards, flames. Well, it depends on the class. The starter classes are pretty cheap to craft. The advanced are not so cheap, but still they are grindable. And I believe the materials will go up in prices. I can feel that already. <laughs> oh, rest in pieces, marketplace, rest in pieces. So, and another stuff which is craftable now and it's not tradable are the mounts. So, yep, you can craft them with shell scores and flux. Like, I believe I don't have this golden bug. So, yeah, it's 30,000 and some materials. Some of them are cheaper, some of them are not so cheap. Like, take the shadowy. So, let's see the marketplace. Still has them, I believe. Shadowy. Yep, it's 27,000. <laughs> so, better buy it now because it needs Chao scores, Flux, Heart of Darkness, and some Meteorite fragments. So, it's cheaper to buy now. <laughs> so, I believe I have most of them. So, yepsy. And next one is the costumes. So, yepsy. Now we can craft also costumes. <laughs> oh, a Cloromancer one. Ah, uh, too a bit too dark to me. I kind of like this crystal one. I will craft it with time, believe. <laughs> so, it's also craftable now. And we also have some premium collectibilities, like the wings. Oh my, they cost quite a lot. <laughs> Don't say yep, they do. So yepsy, you can check the craftable stuff yourself. You only need the Chaos Crafter. Also, we have an event active, the Snowfest event, for which we can get 5 new Chaos chests. And also my Chaos Storm is quite close, so I will try to get 15 new Chaos chests. So, okay, I got the Chaos chests, but also we have a challenge active. 
You can see the portal here is the coin challenge. You need to get coins. So there's also flying race one and the dungeon one. And this one is broken. <laughs> GG throw. So yep, this one's broken. So you need to collect coins. I have no idea how many because zero out of zero. <laughs> So yep, I believe I will show you the new challenges later, when they will be fixed. So yep, new patch, many bucks. Oh yep, taking a look at the challenge and granting rewards. Yep, you need to take a look at this. So I will show it to you maybe in some next video. So yep, see, and I'm back in my club with the new challenge chests. Let's open them! <laughs> so as you can see, they are not tradable. So let's open them then. And get lucky, you hope. <laughs> um, flux, flux. Okay, channel wood. <laughs> flux, flux. A pair of wisdom. Well, it goes to my new inventory, I believe. Let's see. Yep, it's here. Flux, flux, flux. Robotic sword, really, really. A robotic sword. <laughs> Good job, throw. <laughs> you never disappoint me. Never. <laughs> oh, Tro, I love you, really. I wanted to get at least one core, at least one chow score. Well, at least people got some stuff. But fudge it, I will open the tradable ones, ten of them. Please, just one core. Oh, and also now we can get chows just from adventuring, from doing dungeons. So I hope I will get some and I will show it to you too. Oh, enchanted wood. Flux, oh sweet, 3000 flux. But seems today we are not lucky with the cores. So, but no worries, I will get them, I will show them to you, so no worries. So, but that's not all. I don't know why, but they changed the portals. So you can see it's Permafrost World, the Cursed Veil World, the Desert Frontier Fire. So from U6 it's Prime World, so I don't know why really. Maybe they wanted to introduce the biomes like slowly, like biome after a biome, I don't know. Maybe it's more interesting for new players than have not the idea. And we're back to Hub, which has a Christmas tree, <laughs> finally, and the crafting table. So I have all the recipes now, and here it is, the dragon egg, the Christmas dragon. <laughs> yep, I need that. Oh, and a new mount, a snowflake. Oh, I need to get this. Sub-Zero. <laughs> Sub-Zero snowflakes. So, yep, we need to get snowflakes and cheese nuts. So, the snowflakes drop from the dungeons. I believe I'll show them next video. That's what we will do in the next video. Hunting the snowflakes. <laughs> yep, getting the snowflakes. So, yep, here's the dragon. The snow, the Christmas dragon. So I believe we crafted, I hope. <laughs> oh, but I can feel all the resources will fly up in price. Yep, they will do. Oh, and also the credits are now tradable. Or buyable for flux. So you can see them here, the credit punch. 250 credits in your wallet. So these are the prices for now. I have no idea how low or high they will be. But I believe it's pretty nice, so... People can buy credits for real money and sell to us, and we can buy for flux. So on them we can go buy stuff like chows, chests, or other stuff like glasses, even though they're craftable. <laughs> there are many things I like in this update, like the new inventory, the craftable glasses, and some stuff I dislike, like, like the untradable chows, chests, and the untradable mounts. So you can craft the mounts, but they are untradable. So I kinda dislike it. It would be really nice if the mounts would be tradable. It, it would be really nice. It's really important to me. Because I'm making you ways. <laughs> so yep. So I'm making you happy. So let's hope Trove will make us happy with tradable mounts. So yep, this was a very fast video. <laughs> I simply wanted to show you the changes, the new stuff. And I will show more later in the next video. So for now, thanks for watching. Till next time. And see.